Hey guys, Big Time Collector 01 here, back at it again with another action figure review. And today we'll be taking a look at the DC Multiverse Batman from DC Rebirth. I got this guy at my local Walmart. They were just stacked with whole, a bunch of figures and a bunch of Walmarts are getting uh, these, the Dark Knight Returns wave, a lot of the Batman movie stuff. And you'll see in my, um, in my toy hunt video that there were so many figures. I have to go back and grab some more because there was just so many. As you can see, it says Batman on the side there. Very excited to open this figure. Um, this, was the, this was the last one, so I was very happy to get it. Got Batman DC Rebirth on the side. Got awesome card art. And then you got a bunch of other DC Multiverse figures at the bottom. I'm very happy they changed these because it was like the same of uh, five images for like the past like 800 figures <laughs> that's an exaggeration but um yeah let's get to it and open this guy up shall we so before we take a look at the figure let's take a closer look at his accessories first he comes with this basic dc multiverse stand then he comes with this trading card really cool looking i like the card art we should have zoomed out a little bit, like a, like in the back of the box. But this is still cool. And here's the bio if you want to read it. Pause it right now. And then he comes with this battering. I think it's a little big. I don't know. I haven't even put it in his hand yet. So, let's see how it looks. Yeah, I feel like this is a pretty big battering. It's a cool shape, though. I'm very happy he came with it. Uh, this is something I wish the three Jokers Batman came with. Then, he comes with this grapple gun. Or, is it even a gun? It's a grapple launcher, I guess. Because we can't use the word gun anymore. With our DC figures. And I'm not letting that one go. <laughs> but yeah, this is a cool... I like this accessory a lot. I love the shape of it. It's very 89-esque. And it just fits in his hand very nicely. Just... Yeah, his grip is kind of tight. So you're going to want to force it in there or, you know, heat up his hand. But he holds it nice and tightly. It's not going to fall out or anything. So it's all good. And another thing that I wish this figure came with was interchangeable hands. It would have been nice to get two... Grip hands and two fisted hands. Like the Future State Batman. Yeah, I really wish he came with the interchangeable hands. Because I really want my one of my Batman figures like this. And the three Jokers Batman to have like two fists. I think that'd be cool. So yeah, let's take a closer look at the figure now. So, let's take a closer look at this guy now. Starting off with the head. I gotta say, it looks really good. And it's on a... Um, on a dumbbell joint, it's not connected to the neck like the three Jokers Batman. And I can't wait to compare them to that guy, because that is such an awesome Batman figure. Both of these are really good Batman figures, so I'm very happy to have this one in my collection. I really like the head. Very, very basic Batman. I like it. Not too, nothing else to add there. Love the cape. I do wish the cape was a little bit more, you know... You know, more of a more pliable material. It's stiff. It's very stiff. Compared to the three Jokers Batman one, it was just so much softer. I really want to see this material used more often. I love this material. It's like it's like a mixture between like um a cloth goods, like it's the flexibility of a cloth goods, but um but it's plastic and I really like how it feels. I really wish it was on this figure too. This Keep it super stiff. And we have the purple on the inside this time. The I'm not going to lie. The Rebirth suit is not my favorite. Due to the two things. Which, which is the outline of the bat symbol. The yellow outline. And the purple on the cape. But I grew to like it a little more. But it's still not my favorite. I do like the new 52 bat suit over this one. And I really hope to see... Uh, uh, new 52 figures from McFarlane because those are some of my favorite designs. Got a little splotch of purple in the back there. 
But other than that, I really do like how this figure came out. It does look a lot better than the first one that they released. Uh, I believe it was a Battle Damage Target exclusive. I, I'll put an image up. But um, yeah, this one looks really cool. I really like the detailing, especially on the gauntlets looking great. And, you know, the lines on the torso. Uh, a lot of yellow on the belt. Nice looking boots. Yeah, I'm very happy how this guy turned out. It looks really cool, and I can't wait to put him up next to my other Rebirth figures, and you'll definitely see that in the comparisons. So, let's get to it and get to his articulation. Taking a look at his articulation, his head you can look up that much. It looks down that much. It rotates in a 360. You can even head pivot. And the arms do move out that much. They move down. And they do rotate, but the cape gets in the way. And he does have a butterfly joint in there. He does have double jointed elbows. Or not double jointed elbows, but he does have double jointed elbows. He has a bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows. And then the wrists do rotate and they hinge. And then he has really good torso articulation. So his, um, you know, his torso can crunch that forward that much, back that much. And, you know, he can rotate and pivot. And then the lower abdomen here, you know, can do the same thing. Can crunch forward, back, rotate, and pivot. And then his legs do kick forward, they kick back, they kick out that much. He's got double jointed knees. Things move down that much, move up. They do rotate, and you have pivot and toe articulation. So, yeah, let's uh, stack them up against uh, some other DC Multiverse series, which I'm very excited to do. And measuring this guy out, he comes to be around seven and a quarter inches tall and here he is next to the rebirth green lantern from the two-pack and the superman uh, i think he looks really good i hope to get more dc rebirth designs for you know classic uh justice league members like wonder woman i know we got a flash but i missed out on that one but i used my injustice 2 flash and just so many other characters i hope to see in you know the dc rupert style i know we're gonna get that aquaman and martian manhunter which i'm very excited for and i can't wait to put put them up with these guys and here he is next to some comic based figures here he is next to the three jokers batgirl and the mortal kombat 11 joker i think he fits in pretty well here's the comparison we've all been waiting to see here he is next to the three jokers batman and it's a hard decision because both of these figures are really good. I guess it's um, up to preference. For me, I personally like the three Jokers Batman a lot better than this Rebirth Batman. But they're both very good figures and they're both, you know, I'm very happy to have both of them in my collection. Again, it's just based on preference. If you like the Rebirth design, you're going to really like this Batman figure. But if you want a more classic looking Batman, you're going to want to go with the three Jokers Batman. Again, both really good renditions of the character, both good figures, and I highly recommend both of them. And here he is, up on the rotating base. Um, To end off this review, I really like this figure. It's a cool looking design, and I gotta say it looks a lot better than the previous Rebirth Batman they did. And that's what really turned me off on the, on the previous one, which was the look of it. It was very stylized, it looked like Greg Capullo's artwork. Very, you know, it was really good in rendition. Um, it was a very good rendition of his artwork, but I think this is a better looking figure than that one. And I really like this figure a lot. It's a very good design. Not as good as the three Jokers Batman, but again, if you can get both, you can get one or the other. It's up to your preference. I, I get, again, this is a good figure. I would highly recommend it to anyone. It is available at Walmart right now, if you want to go get them. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, because I enjoyed this figure. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you.